As you can see, there are a lot of pins on the bottom of the Groove Epic processor. When we insert and remove the processor from the rack, we need to make sure that we do it very carefully so that we don't bend any of those pins. Also, it's very important that you never carry or put any pressure on the LCD display door, either from the front or from the side. To insert the processor, we need to first align the slot on the processor with the slot on the already installed power supply. With the display open and grasping the processor, carefully begin sliding the processor down to the chassis. As the processor meets the connector on the rack, gently jiggle the processor to align the pins on the connector. The connector sockets are cone-shaped, and the pins on the processor need to be centered into the cones. By gently jiggling the processor for just a second, you ensure all the pins are ready to be seated. When the processor has settled into the connector on the rack, with the display door still open, gently push directly in to seat the processor on the rack. Secure the processor to the rack, first by screwing in the bottom screw on the chassis, then the screw on the face of the processor to the power supply. Do not over torque either screw, just snug them up, that's all that's required. To remove the processor, first open the LCD display door. Loosen the screw on the processor face. Bit of a tip here, wait until it clicks a couple of times. Then undo the chassis screw at the bottom of the processor. And remember, never to push or pull on the LCD display door. It's very important that you pull straight out. Do not peel it from the front or the bottom or from the sides. Grasp the processor and gently lift it directly up and away from the rack. For more information, see the Groove User's Guide.